Our first guest is a nine-time Grammy Award winner. She's also the daughter of the legendary Nat King Cole. She recently released her very first Spanish album called Natalie Cole en Español. And as a sidebar, she's always been the big sister in my head. <laughs> you know, cool older woman, you know? Please welcome my big sister in my head, Natalie Cole. <laughs> when you come over. <laughs> so, um, 63 never looks so good, right? <laughs> and in my mind, she comes over and we drink white wine. You're the only one I would let, like, call out my age like that. No, but I, <laughs> no, but Natalie, because you are an inspiration, you are a fabulous woman. Look at your youthful uh, swagger and your pants. Thank you. <laughs> I would like for you, if you just hold your feet still, we're gonna give you some shoe cam. It's wow. good. Uh-huh. <laughs> really good. Yeah, this was something new that you started. Yes, well, and no. I, I said to my son, I said, well, we have to have a fabulous shoe. shoe. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Now, is this stylist or is this you? No, this is my stylist, V. Bradley. Nice, nice. Yeah, she puts all, I, I buy it and she puts it together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, because you have such a youthful effervescence, everything about you to me says, you know, yes, you know, young. Do younger men hit on you all the time? <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> do you can take, I say? Do you take the bait or do you leave him on the playground? I, I kind of leave him on the playground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But a guy rolled up to, um, to my car the other day and he couldn't have been more than 25, 26. And he asked me if he could take me to dinner. And I kept looking around like, who's he talking to? <laughs> you know? I don't picture you driving. Uh, girl, I have a Porsche Panamera S. Hello? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice. I and in L.A., you have to drive. So in you LA might you as do. well look good while you're doing it. But I know that because you grew up royalty, you know, I just figured, you know, you've always had drivers and you just never got your driver's license, you know. No, I, I got mine as soon as possible. I was, like, out of there. Yes. Yeah. Did you get a car too? I've had you got your so license? many different cars. Really? I've had Corvettes. I've had... Um, you know, the little Mercedes, yeah. I've had a little Volkswagen. Did your I've parents had... spoil you when you first, when you turned uh, 17 and got no. your license and got you like no. a Mercedes? my first car was a Volkswagen. A Volkswagen? Mm -hmm. Well, that was the car back in the day. It was, nice. a very cool car. Yes, yeah. very. Um, I recently saw pictures of you at Shaka Khan's 60th birthday bash. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's all kinds of good singing in one picture. Did you, you have bet. fun? Oh my gosh. Well, Shaka's my girl. We go back so far. Yeah. You know, um, we, we met on a trip going to Japan to the Tokyo Music Festival. How long ago was that? Oh, 19. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. I'm figuring it was a long time yeah. ago. And so you've been friends and ever since. We've been since. friends ever since. You remind me, Natalie, of um, a singer and a socialite. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you are very social. I know you and Denise Rich and, you know, your parties and your charity work and things like that, but yeah. always at socializing. You know, it's, it's, it's different when I'm, I mean, certain girlfriends I do socialize, you do a lot of that with, mm -hmm. but when I'm home, I'm like going to the movies or I'm in my PJs and my flip flops. Home is my, LA. Home is LA. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like cooking, baking, or going to a restaurant, getting something to eat. I'm not really that social in LA. Really? Unless there's something going on. Mm -mm. Wow. I'm at home. Here's something that you and I have in common, and people don't really seem to understand this. We've both had our uh, dealings with substance abuse. Right. But we both drink. Mm. I've seen you out socially. Yes. And I know that you drink. <laughs> well, no, because people, but, I mean, because, because, is because, she outing me or no, what? No, I mean, he, here I come with this one, right? Because people say to me, I don't know whether you get this sometimes, but people say, well, if you're sober, you're supposed to be totally sober. If you had a problem with cocaine, then why would you still be drinking? Right, and, well, and it, the, the, the answer is, I'm not supposed to be drinking, actually. Oh, really? As a sober person, someone who's part of AA, oh. you're not supposed, oh. you're supposed oh, to give it. Oh, I didn't know you were it. part of AA. You went to AA? Yes, I'm, yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, I see. I thought that you're. So it's it's you know it's supposed to be all the way around. Yeah. Um, the only excuse is my issue was not with alcohol. Right. My issue was with drugs. See that now. That's if what you I put said. me in a room full of cocaine, then we have to. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. <laughs> we might have a little problem, you know. <laughs> Let's talk about some of these singing competition shows. So, we all saw the uh, finale of American Idol. Um, your song, Inseparable, was sung by Jennifer Hudson and the girl who won, I forget her name. Candace Glover? Candace. Yes. Um, but I heard that you were a little salty about... I was very salty. I didn't even see it. And my phone started blowing up, and they were saying, girl, Jennifer Hudson is out there trying to be you singing in separate one. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. So anyway, they broke, they, bro <laughs> <laughs> they broke the story down to me. And my issue with American Idol mm -hmm. is that they could have just given me a shout out. That's all they had to say. Yeah. You know, because, at, you know, we know that the audience of American Idol is like you guys, right? And a lot of you may not know that Inseparable was really done by someone named Natalie Cole. You might have thought that Jennifer Hudson was the original person. Right. Which isn't fair to me. Yes, yes. Hello. You know, so I was just thinking that they could have said, oh, and by the way, Natalie Cole is the one that actually sang that song. Yes, yes. That's all. But they didn't even do that. They didn't do it. And, right. and Jennifer didn't do it either. I'm sure it was an oversight. Uh, big. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a Natalie song. Congratulations, by the way, on this uh, Natalie Cole in Espanol. Thank now, you. Tu habla Espanol. Thank you. You know, it's so funny. My father did a Spanish record back in the late 1950s, didn't speak a word of Spanish. Uh -huh. His accent is actually not as good as mine is. Uh -huh. But ni neither of us were fluent in Spanish. I just have an affinity for accents. And I love, love this music. I can't love, wait to hear you perform it. it. Say, listen, um, when you want to sing your father's music, whether you recreate it or sing it on the show, mm -hmm. do you have to pay for your dad's music? Uh, no. Do you, you, you that's no, yours? No, other people do. <laughs> other people do, but not you. Right. Now, if we wanted footage of dad, uh -huh. uh, if I want footage of me. Oh. Oh, yeah. You gotta pay yeah, big time. Because the, the studios own everything. Yes. You know, we have a video that we use for Unforgettable mm -hmm. that comes from the BBC, footage from the BBC, mm -hmm. which is a broadcast network in the UK. Right. Honey, we had to pay so much money for that. It was like, are you serious? Wow. It's my dad. It's my father. You yeah. know, but that's like, yeah, but you know. Business is business. Yeah, it's just the way it is.